Cats. I'm here to talk to you today about Hylie. Hylie is a cross training fitness apparel uh, company. I've been using Hylie products for about six months now. Um, they were referred to me by a friend of mine, so I decided to try their products. I'm always open to uh, new fitness apparel. I spend half my time in that and exercise book. Hylie has a product line here to meet your basic fitness needs. As you can tell, I'm wearing one of the shirts right here. Uh, here's another one of their shirts. The, the, the shirts are really nice. I do have to say, as far as the shirts go, I love them. I love the fit. It's trimmed in a V trim that's for athletic builds. Um, so you can basically show off your, your hard work. Um, the material is really thin. It, it breathes really nice. Uh, I don't feel hot in it. Uh, unlike some of the dry fit stuff that I wear, I feel like I'm putting on a saran wrap sometimes. It's a blend of cotton and polyester, and it's the perfect mix. They're very, like I said, they're very thin and very, very, very comfortable. Um, I sweat through them pretty easy because they're thin, but it dries very fast. Um, when I train in a high lead shirt, I will sweat through that shirt within the first five, 10 minutes. But when I sit down and relax, the shirt dries within 10 minutes. I mean, completely dry. Other brands, Nike, Under Armour, uh, when I wear those dry fit shirts, uh, they're supposed to wick sweat away from the body and you know they're supposed to dry really fast. But I'm going to be honest, that stuff does not dry. I often I have to take the shirt off, it's drenched in sweat. If you want to hear something really disgusting. Sometimes I take the shirt and I wring it and sweat comes out of it. That's disgusting. Those shirts I have to come home and I have to hang them over a banister or the back of a chair or on a line or something so they can dry out. And that's even before I put them in the dirty clothes. Uh, that's to keep it from forming any kind of smell or to just dry it out. That's ridiculous for something that's supposed to be built to dry faster. When it comes to these highly shirts, these things dry quick. It's dry before I even get home. Another big seller of highly are these uh, performance socks. Now these are a little expensive for my taste. Another big seller of highly are these uh, performance socks. Now these are a little expensive for my taste, but I do feel good wearing these. They're compression socks, and the, the idea here is that they're supposed to promote circulation and keep your your uh, muscles warm when you're training and all that stuff. I do have to say that I do feel really good in these socks. The first time I trained them, I told them one of my friends that I felt like a superhero. To the rescue! I feel like I can leap over buildings. I don't know what it was, maybe it was a mental thing, but they feel great. Now one of my favorite products is the Highly Shorts. Again, it's made of this really, I really don't know what it's made out of. Uh, polyester and spandex it looks like. These shorts are comfortable. Okay, I've tried every exercise short there are. Okay, I, I train. I've worn basketball shorts. I've worn. I've worn uh, running shorts. I train in MMA shorts, Muay Thai shorts. Because of the, the various uh, fitness interests that I have, um, I have all a whole lot of different gear that I have to uh, wear or use for these different things, from MMA to boxing to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to CrossFit to uh, cardio training to road biking. Uh, so it gets cumbersome to have to constantly have different outfits and different types of shorts and shirts that you wear when you engage in these different types of activities. I will tell you now that this one short replaces half of those, okay? I love these shorts. They're really loose uh, in the sense that the material, I don't know what it is, but it breathes really nice. This is the version one shorts. And the little tie band here. I got black, I, you know, they have some really, Heidi uh, has some really vibrant colors. Uh, reds and oranges and neon greens and stuff like that. Some people are into that. I'm just a black and gray kind of guy. If you're into that kind of stuff, then that really, uh, you might enjoy it, some of the other colors they have. Now let's talk about the shorts. Okay. So 
These are standard shorts, uh, like an MMA short, it has the little Velcro here, this is the version 1 short, it has a tie strip here, and they, uh, they sit just above my knee, so it's perfect fit, and they're really loose, okay? These things breathe. I, I don't sweat through them, even if I do, they dry quick. What I love the most is the pockets that I to put on here. Um, this little Velcro pocket here, okay, and I'm kind of over the whole iPhone thing, I use a Galaxy. That said, everything nowadays is built for iPhones, alright? And they even refer to this as an iPhone pocket. But I'm able to fit my GS uh, in here, my Galaxy, so that's good. And uh, my iPod, and then I can fit my wallet in this pocket here. Something about the way these pockets are cut, when you have your wallet or your iPod or your iPhone in here, um, they don't swing around in your shorts. Uh, I know for me that's really irritating when I put things in my pockets and my exercise shorts and as I'm moving, you know, they're kind of sliding around and it's just disrupting my movement and I, I'm distracted by if it's going to fall out or not. Obviously with the Velcro strap or with the Velcro uh, um, lid here, it's not going to fly out of your pocket, but it's cut, It's they're put up high enough that you don't even feel the movement. They don't move at all. They're really secure. Prior to these shorts, uh, for my iPod, I'm old school. I used to use one of these armbands, uh, these clunky, uncomfortable armbands you put up, slide up on your arm and you put your iPod in and as you're working out, it slowly starts to slide down and then you have to slide it back up your arm and then to keep it from sliding, you take the strap and you tighten it down, suddenly you feel like there's no circulation in your arm, it's just an irritation and it's a distraction and it gets on my damn nerves. I didn't know how I'd feel about sticking my iPod in my pocket because anytime I tried that before, it flew all over the place. But I will tell you, once I put my iPod in this pocket and I put my headphones on, it was not going anywhere. Best experience I've ever had with any type of short or anything when it comes to holding um, stuff in my pockets. That's one of the top features of these shorts. And that's gonna drop, take me into the next pair of shorts, which is the version two, I believe. These are the brand new um, high leap shorts. They changed a few things. They got rid of the Velcro part here, which actually I like. Uh, does feel like I'm pulling on tights, sort of. Um, but I do like the fact that it doesn't have the Velcro. Sometimes that Velcro thing can be come, uh, become a little irritating, but uh, that's the first thing that's taken away from these shorts. Now I'm going to tell you what I don't like about the version 2 is the pockets are different. You take a look. They've replace the velcro lid with a, a zipper pocket. Now A, you would think that's great, but the pocket width is this wide, and the zipper is this wide, and I'm just, I just can't slide my Galaxy in there, and I, can, I can't really get my iPod in there, uh, and then I hate zipping up my cord, uh, so maybe there should be a little hole, I, I don't know. Um, same thing here, the pocket is very narrow, so I can't really slide my wallet in there, so basically, what you're stuck with now is where I was able to fit my wallet, my phone, my iPod, everything kind of slid into those pockets on the version 1 shorts. On these, I'm, I would have to empty my ID and my card out of my, my wallet and then slide maybe those into my pocket exclusively. And then on this side, I just have to buy an iPhone. As far as my overall review of the Hylee brand, I love it. Um, I love the clothes, I love the shirts. I train in this stuff all the time, and it is exactly as advertised, it is cross training gear, and the stuff is beyond comfortable. It is so breathable and loose and light, I feel like I'm naked. If I could train naked, that'd be the end of it. That's all I would do. I'd be training naked. I'd be naked everywhere. I'd be lifting naked. But since I cannot train bare naked, this is the next best thing. <laughs> as far as the company goes, I like them a lot. The customer service is amazing. I haven't had any issues. Uh, whenever I've had any kind of issue with any piece of clothing or, or a bag or anything, uh, it's been prompt. Their response has been professional and prompt, and they're, they're, they guarantee their products for two years, uh, so they're quick to replace anything that's, that's not up to their standards. If you do any kind of training whatsoever, if you are just jumping on an elliptical three days a week and you're looking for good exercise gear, this is the gear to buy, okay? If you're going to go spend the money on some Nike compression or some Under Armour stuff, you might as well just buy this stuff. It's a bit cheaper, and I do get the feeling it's going to last. It's just comfortable, okay? What I'm saying is, I like this stuff. Uh, give it a shot. You might like it too.